Hello guys and welcome to a super Hi. Hi. There you go. Yes. Super soaking wet spring action day. It is indeed. Oh. <laughs> so as I was saying, that was almost over in less than 30 seconds, like a night with me all the time. Um, so yeah, we're here at Coombe um, and we are down the furthest part of the racetrack. And if I can tell you one thing to describe the day today, look at my feet. It is dreadful here. But anyway, we're here, we're at the furthest butt end part of the course possible. And we're gonna look around and see what cars are here today. I can't tell if we're gonna get any track action. I can't really say a lot because the track isn't even open at the moment, it's that wet. So yeah, it's not the best start of the day, but let's get going. So we're starting with Flankel Bung's uh, Mercedes bag limo. I apologise for my freaking umbrella that's in the way. But that is a good place to start. I think the Flankel Bung guys are probably over here, I don't really know. But I'm going to walk up the end now because there's plenty of cars. So I'm going to walk up the end here and then we'll get all the cars on the way back down. This is the infamous Flankel Bung. Tell us how the day started, come on. Fucking shit show. <laughs> that thing's overheated. Yeah. Oh, I've got an assistant as well. Got the high vis on so everyone can see how much of a knob I am. <laughs> We've already committed three criminal offences by stealing signs on the way here. As you can see, the limo says caution sight entrance. <laughs> I mean, I struggled to get on the flat. I mean, they put us in the shittest spot possible. I don't know where you guys are placed. <laughs> we're, we're further up. Right? We're not as bad as you, though, yeah. Are you sure? We're in we're borderline <laughs> Azerbaijan. <laughs> Do you see where we are? So, I come dressed for the occasion. I got the Jerusalem 7s on. <laughs> fucking beating up to fire. This is going to be an absolute shit show. Our whole group ain't even here yet. So, oh, mate. this is going to be a shit it's show. So I need funny. to come see yours, so Surely yours isn't as bad as this. Uh, we only got like fucking how many cars have actually made it here? Five, five, five yeah. Cars, we had to send them a shitty email. We said that we're fed up of being put in shit spots, so they're putting us in paddock next time. Yeah, they keep putting like they keep putting like scummy cubs like beyond city in the center. And yeah, even, like, fuck them, <laughs> fuck them all. <laughs> and Fiesta owners club. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mate, they're fucking everywhere. I ain't saying nothing. I'll come around in a minute and get all the cars on video individually. I'm gonna carry on walking, but mate, it was a pleasure. Yeah, it's, it's nice to see you. I um, mean, feel free to key it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's about it, really. Are you taking the limo out on track? The limo, unless it gets top 50, then probably not. No. But... Apparently, you're not allowed to take... I don't know about the parade last, but apparently you're not allowed to take people out on track at all now in the car. No passengers at all, really? appara apparently. We took eight people out of the side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, his bags actually work now. They didn't work last time, yeah. so if you get eight people in there, they're popping. But, <laughs> uh, I mean, when, when you get a minute, go over and say hello to him. He's been driving it the whole way down here fully aired out, so, yeah. I'll get him so. to run me through it, yeah. We'll come back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. Mate. Yeah, I'll well, fucking go for it, mate. I'll see you in a little bit. Actually, yeah, at the furthest end possible, starting with the 406 SW. We've got to start with the Peugeots. So here we go, then, guys. We've got double yellow on the MGs. Don't see many of them around anymore. Not gonna lie to you. The latest uh, TT. I think it's a TTS, I think. Yeah, got it right. And then we have got a line of a mixture of things. Starting off with Fiestas in all different colours and specs. Got another MG in here as well. Look. Now we'll tell you one thing. You're going to see the this video is going to include the biggest amount, or the biggest amount of cars we're beating on. You're never going to see so many beating cars today. Now I'm not going to get all the rows. This first bit I'm going to sweep and get as much as I can. But as we get into the main event further on later on, I'll just duck and dive between cars of interest rather than getting everyone, but for this first row, we'll grab the whole lot. So I just want to mention that we're coming up to the Civic row, and this guy here has put his Type R kit on the wagon, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. We've got an old uh, 206 GT there. Very rare, the GT kit on that. Got men erecting a tent. Hello, how are you? Yeah, how are you doing? yeah, not bad. And then this Capri is just something else. Look at that. Obviously, Reese likes the free the three thousand GT. Yeah. And then we've got a good mixture of cars coming up here. So yeah, guys, I do apologise today. You're going to get a lot of water on the screen, a lot of noise. I am absolutely freaking soaked. <laughs> It's absolutely crazy. You can just see it. Look at it. It's crazy. So, just to mention, we've got a 
we get boys and girls for a nice couple of little citrons. They look absolutely awesome, the pair of them. And yeah, we'll come back to where we began with the flanker one, guys. So track's still not open. Uh, just to mention, uh, the IS200 Sports Cross, gorgeous. That Cooper's nice as well, in all fairness. And we've got a little bit of the Vauxhall squad here too. But... So yeah, the track's still not open. If you cannot tell by the state of the water, it is unbelievable out there at the moment. And there we are, look. Always a good selection. This is why I've worn wellies. <laughs> it is mad out here today. I don't reckon... Huh? Yeah. I don't reckon the track's going to be open at all today, or at least until this rain stops, which is meant to be around midday, but I'm not holding up much hope, if I'm honest with you. A couple of nice Golf Mark 5s as well, look. Nice little modified Taran, look. I'm absolutely loving the, uh, the Corsa Combo van there. Nice. So yeah, really good variety so far down here today, as you can see. I do apologise about the cars in the back. This is gorgeous, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this one as well. Reefs are like this. Oh, control yourself, Reefs. So yeah, look at this, look. Yeah, that's a good little... So we're back with the old flangle bung, guys. Flangle bung, in fact, not flangle. So yeah, we're going to do a little switch around the stand and have a look at all the cars we've got here. Sean's here in the uh, CB. Right, mate. That's a little S3. These guys never, ever fail to deliver a good selection of cars. Even the old micro at the back here. Got a nice transporter as well, look. Got A3 Sportback. Mark 5. Lovely little MX-5 here as well. So we've got the overheating 36, we mentioned earlier. We've got the uh, <laughs> caution site entrance in the Mercedes here, which is definitely aired out. It is absolutely gorgeous this carries eight people as well but there's no way he can they're gonna be able to sit eight people in there no chance and then just to finish off with you guys this fabio is very clean very very clean little mx5 yeah that's a nice accord as well so there we go guys that is flanker by what a selection of cars so we've got modified Gloucester. The ST is revving up. That is the whitest wheels. Yeah, that's the whitest wheels you're probably going to see all day. I'm not going to lie to you. Obviously spent time cleaning his wheels. I'm loving the wheels on that R as well with the Porsche brakes. Is that an R or a GTI? It's an R, I think. That's a GTI. I that got done. Nice little Polo GTI on the end. Let's finish. So that is the first selection. Um, and we're going to get back walking towards the main event now. We're going to go up through Red, which is where we're at. This is a small lake, literally. So, yeah, what a way to start the year. It is madness. So, so wet. This 350 is gorgeous in that kit. 208 GTI. We've got, actually got a banger racer car here, so fair play if I said that on track. At least they're going to be safe. Got the roll cage in there. This Lexus is just something else. Unbelievable. I think I've seen this quite a few times at Coombe. Absolutely gorgeous. Even just down to the fine details on the window. Absolutely all gorgeous that is. Nice ST in green. I do like it in that green. It's nice. Nice big fabbed up wing on the back of that Corsa. <laughs> I'm slowly sinking into the ground while I'm here. But yeah, good little bunch of uh, cars here once again. I will say, I'm, I'm genuinely, <laughs> genuinely sinking into the ground. There's a nice borer here as well. You don't see borers too often. Love a nice borer. Evo is absolutely gorgeous. 
Nice old disco. Copper motives on the Mark II. Lovely. And we've got a big mixture of all the drift cars over here at the moment, so we'll do a little walk around. It's probably the only time you're going to see them up close. I think they're all getting dropped off down here because the, the mud is so bad over there that they're having to keep all the drift cars either to, either to keep them clean, but I guess more importantly, they won't get stuck because it's just going to happen. The obsessed Suzuki. I absolutely, absolutely love this little polo. Nice BM as well. The roof tent looks awesome. So we've got the one of one Aguila, which we saw over in uh, in Wales last year. <laughs> it's so cool. S2K. Just want to mention gorgeous Subaru. EP3 here as well. Nice 36 on Alpinas. Yeah, got a good selection there. This is the lower part of the uh, the circuit here, and it's like a freaking swamp. A1, glorious, and the Nardo. Just want to mention the old E55 compressor spinning its way in here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous thing. Good selection, good selection. I've always loved the colour on SPM. Don't know what they call it. I'm not going to try and guess. It's some sort of like orangey. Uh, burnt orange or something it looks amazing a couple more drifters hiding around here as well as we go now we have got a Subaru which I don't think it's a legacy it looks like it might be an Outback I don't know exactly what it is but it has got pink alloys so of course it's got to be got on film but yeah as you can see all the track cars and drifters are all sort of lined up along here because it's just an absolute mud fest in here isn't it? I just want to mention that the, uh, the Arbath has its own convertible Arbath on the reef. Like, <laughs> look at that, look. How cute is that? Car carrying its own little car, look. The 93 is nice as well. It's got the biggest, what well, looks like a 5 inch exhaust to it. Certainly something freaking massive on it. Look at the selection. So many things here. So we've got a few Fords. Now our stands over here. We're sort of doing it mid-video. We've got Chris's Saab. We've got my Peugeot. So it's just had the windows done. D Chrome. It's looking fairly slick, to be fair. And we've got Reese's Mark IV, which we'll definitely be seeing in other videos soon. We've also got a random BM. But yeah, as you can see, everyone's just queuing to get in here. It is mentally busy. Um, so Reese has just installed a massive vibrator in his door. Look at that, what a nice build. Absolutely gorgeous on both doors. And he's uh, in the process of sorting out the boot as well at the moment. So yeah, it's not bad. So yeah, that is the day so far. Um, what time is it now, Kirsten? Between 9.30 and 10 and it's still uh, it's still wet real bad so interesting design on the Vauxhall super loud super super loud all the drifters are heading down to the main arena they're drifting at 11 4 past 11 I think it is um, but this is the Welsh Nutter stand I think I'm not actually too sure Missing actually, so I don't have a clue what that was, but yeah. So now we're walking up to the main area. I hope we'll see some drifting track action. I think they're trying to open the track up for uh 10 10 30 time. I'll keep you posted on that. Lovely, nice couple of Volvos there. Nice, I do love a Volvo. Got an 888 coupe, genuine as well. Look. Just gorgeous. Thought I'd 
whip around and see what's over here anyway. Good old selection, look, there is cars everywhere. So yeah, there's probably going to be some stock cars here, I would imagine, later on, definitely. We've got another Ford, another Ford group here, I think. We've got a Deadpool themed Fiesta over here as well, I just saw. Which, I have to admit, is pretty funky. And then we've got Mini Squad, with a uh, R33, hiding down the back over here. Oh. Yeah, so it's a good mixture. You see all the drift cars actually, you never normally get to see them because they're always up in the main area, but obviously with the rains there, everything's been so delayed. Yeah, it's an awesome selection. Very soon I'm going to start jumping into different selections of cars, just because that is literally so many. I love the 220. Little say out of band. Is the Accord Euro R as well, right? Oh yeah! This group I think is the one, the guys on from Dorset. They've got a gorgeous E30 here as well. Just sat here chilling out. So we've got BMW Corner. We've got an Adam. Flexing the chameleon tent. So down this side, we have minis coming up. And we've also got what looks like the Jeeps slash um, SUVs and bits as well, I see the Jeep lot down there. Minis. It's like shopping shopping cars next to big old trucks though. They're all gorgeous. Loving the blue theme down the front of that Mini, that looks sweet. But yeah, it is literally a mud pit down there. Now, I think coming up, we have the Imperium. They're here, Kirsten, I think. The Imperium lot just over here. I can't, I'll point with my umbrella there. <laughs> there we are. Starting off with the Imperium squad, we've got Cheese, absolutely gorgeous wide body Audi. It's just had a colour change on it as well, it was like a like a solid green. It's gone for a very nice sort of flat orange, it's not bad at all. But we've got gorgeous cars either side, so I think we'll do this side first and we'll jump over the others. Yeah, these guys, so Imperium is the Southwest group, all high performance vehicles. They're all absolutely gorgeous. There we are, so yeah, we've got a, yeah, again another selection. The Seat is rather cute. But yeah, we've got a good little lineup. So the track still, as we're currently talking, isn't open yet. But uh, hopefully, we will get the track open later on. Although you know what's probably going to happen with the weather like it is. The Lexus is gorgeous by the way. It's Kurt's Lexus as well, look. MX-5. Beautiful. Now I just want to mention, this is definitely the coolest car to show. Check this out. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. So yeah, we've got cars everywhere. I'm absolutely loving the window cover on the, uh, the S-Max there. <laughs> Yeah. A few Fords, quite a few Fords. And Mercedes of course. Absolutely gorgeous with those with those wheels on. That is bloody lovely that. Really So talking of Fords, this is just beautiful. And actually I can get up close to it because I've got wellies on. So I am sorted. But check this out. That is so clean. Not literally clean because of the weather, but it's impeccable. We've got a few of them up here as well, look. Glorious 
cars and stuff. We might as well follow it through now. One route, so follow it through. We got my favourite uh, generation of the RS on the end here as well. I like the green. I do really rate the green. Actually, not too bad. But yeah, the genuine Mark One. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous Fords. Look at this 150. It is massive. Can't even fit it on the lens. Look. So these are the gorgeous Fords that everyone loves. Absolute Ford porn here right now. I think this is a Ford truck, I don't know, but absolutely gorgeous thing. So every man likes an old Ford. We've got quite a few of them here, look. <laughs> Loving the Nardo. To put all carbon on there as well, all around the back, sides sort of a modern day flick on an old school car. It suits it really nice. Even the uh, ST on those Cosmo wheels is just beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Look at that Puma. Absolutely gorgeous, old school. I'm loving the gold on that with the Foxbrook racing wheels. The wing is just something else. So good. So we've got a gorgeous Civic here. I like the blue on the Supra as well, it's quite funky. Impeccable, uh, <coughs> impeccable. Look at it. So yeah, the selections are, are great. When do you ever see a, a Skyline next to a 110? Gorgeous GT4 like that. So we've got the uh, Subaru stand here. We're pottering by very slow because everyone's trying to miss the, the lake down here. So yeah, good selection. Never seen so many silver Subarus as well. Look at all. I do have to say with the Subarus, I love how everyone is very unique. Same car or different generations, but they're all very unique. Everyone sort of puts their own twist on a Subaru and that's what I respect about them. Look at that look, the green. It's always a good variety. With a BMW on the end. <laughs> Probably Subaru broke down, I would imagine. So we've got a Polo that's having a little dance. First of all, I must say, those BMW wheels are sweet as. Oh, look at him, look. <laughs> That is sweet. I don't know if you can lift one wheel off the ground, but... Sweet as. So yeah, I just want to mention on the bonnet of this, the amount of attention to detail to put all those stickers together, little jigsaw puzzle on the bonnet, that is super cool. I feel like we do. So we've got an RCZR in white, glorious. Three SDMs on the old uh, three series there. And we've got an MPS3. Gorgeous cars. And we've got a nice little grey, orange, green and black selection on these uh, final cars finishing here. So that's us down this half of the track. So I'm going to summarise spring action in 2023. That's the video done. I'm only messing. Um, but yeah, this is the wettest I've ever experienced, Coombe. It is unbelievably wet. So we're now into the main area, um, and I'm very glad I bought wellies, otherwise I wouldn't be getting any of these cars on video for me. But we're in the main bit now, and we're going to walk around and get as many cars as we can. Um, there's been no cars out on track yet, so I think the drift is going to be out later, but in terms of track action, there's actually been nothing so far. So yeah, let's carry on where we are. So this is the run of Sport, Wiltshire. Absolutely glorious selection of McGann's and <coughs> Cleo's and all the others. No Twingos though, which is quite sad. I was hoping to see a few Twingos, but we've got a good selection. We've got around the back as well, and we're getting more, we can't miss out any of them. 
that 200 in white absolutely beautiful there's an announcement coming over the speakers now which might be saying tracks open I don't know but I can't see how they're gonna run track at full capacity with the rain like this but there we are it's a glorious orange on that look at that and that's the end back to the lake <laughs> I've actually found a Twingo, not on the Renault stand, but I just want to mention this old Amiga. Absolutely gorgeous. Either wrapped or painted, one of the two. It's just nice to see people modifying the old school cars. This would have been the old school uh, police cars back in the day, one of these. Yeah, again, look, the selection of cars is insane. Too many of them to look at. So I'm going over to see the MX-5s alone because no one else wants to walk on the grass because it is like a mosh pit. But yeah, here we are. It's got a selection of all little goodies over here, mostly MX-5s, but... I'm surprised they all got on here, to be fair, but I'm getting stuck. It's because they're all so light. But yeah, it's good to see some of them together. That's nice in the old Nardo with the orange roof. <laughs> front lip on that is massive. Got a nice Audi here as well. Look. A few little uh, Japanese goodies here in the corner. But yeah. We have a Kangoo 182 slash 172. One of the ones. Um, High Davidson Edition 150 supercharged Ford. Lovely. Now this 309 is just gorgeous. Even got semi slicks on there, so it's probably been used for track, I expect. Got to love the Persians. That's track trackspec that as well. He's got the C36. It's gorgeous. There's the Ford from the front, and then this 300 ZX is just lovely. We've got a good selection of cars here, actually. We've got a Nova, which you never see anymore. Nova see them anymore. Very poor joke, but you don't. Very, very clean engine bay on that as well. I think this is an old Buick, it might be a Riviera, I'm not too sure, but it looks awesome on the uh, hydros. Obviously, Civic Coupe. Gorgeous. I like this Golf as well, this Mark 4 is lovely. Astra Convertible, which I must admit, out of all these sort of convertible hatchback derivatives, it's a very nice one. And I'm absolutely digging the uh, Land Rover alloys on there. Hydro Dips and Regger. Oh, well, yeah. You can't see much, you just see my ugly face and water, but yeah. Oh, it's all got carbon fiber. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay, yeah. I feel very bad for the engine. Oh, my gosh. Is that his intake there? Oh, my goodness. That is, yeah, that's, that's wet in there. Deep badge. Looks nice, though. Freaking sweet. Shame can't get the roof down the same as mine. It used to be like, like in the Mark IV though. I think that is, oh I my think goodness me. Like so, I mean, I don't know what to say. It's actual eyelashes. Literal eyelashes. <laughs> These wheels are pretty funky. They've got love arse in. Kirsten doesn't like it. That's because she's a bit of a manly female. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's a bit different. Untouched Anika there. Look, Kirsten. The Fabio is also very nice in the all black. It's not bad at all, actually. Scirocco with the pinstripe rears. Absolutely beautiful. Look how clean that is. So clean. Subaru's nice on the JRs. It's sort of like a candy apple red. Lovely with the wide arches on that. Alright, so I've decided to name this section Unique and Funky Cars. So we've got some fairly common models, but they're very unique in their own ways, and we've got some very unique rare cars as well. So we'll run you through them. We've got a good selection here. Turbocharged or supercharged. 
Car 34 is just glorious and white. This Beetle, look at this though. Such a good selection here, look. Big old Plymouth. And then to finish off, look. We've got a Type R in all black. It's got the genuine carbon grill on that one as well, I think. It's a turbo, there's a 200 I think as well. Oh, that's 200, yeah. Uh, it's in the VXR. And the beast of the Proton. A nice 36 here as well. The Japanese sort of oriental style to it. Tavia Estate, lovely. Got an Abarth 500 um, 1.4 turbo lump in this uh, Panda. <laughs> so sick. The colour's lovely as well. Look at that. You would surprise so many people with that thing going down the road. Glorious little Sylvia here, look. We've got two Japanese legends together, look. Subaru on the end. And then we've got the FQ over here as well. 330. Another old scoop. But over here we have got the show and shine that we're sort of coming onto the tail end of in a moment. I'm not, no one's going to be in my way. If you uh, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. <laughs> but uh, here we are. I'll be over in a minute. I'm getting called over already. Yeah. So I mean, where, where do we start? This this Peugeot is is absolutely glorious. It's so unbelievably clean. To be fair, the uh, the Arctic is nice as well. Look at that. Okay, moving, uh, yeah, so this is literally touching the floor and it's gathering a pond inside the deep, deep dish on the wheel. <laughs> so nice in that yellow. So we're not going to guess what it is, Turbo or Supercharged, one of the two. But we've got a beautiful sleek area. We're going to walk down the rest of the show and shine now. Eva is just gorgeous. Yeah, the rain has ease, which is lovely. That is very nice, that. The rain has eased, and I think the track is opening soon, so we may well get some track action, although, look at that, scissor doors on the old Mini. Once I've been around and got all of these, we'll try and get some track action later on. So if you were a baddie in the 90s, this was the whip to take. No one would ever catch you. It is freaking glorious. We've got Mark 1 RS over there, hiding away. And we have indeed also got this gorgeous Mini. Absolutely beautiful. And just so you know, I think they're sending the drifters out, as you can hear, to go and uh, test the track. And uh, I think they're going to let us know whether they can have cars go out now or not. So we'll see how it goes. Absolutely glorious c60 m5 here so the rain is easing which is lovely and uh <laughs> too soon really i wish it had uh, come in way too way too earlier than it has but yeah we've got a nice little selection of germans down there so yeah it's been a, it's been a good day so far considering the weather has been absolutely tragic it's not been too bad but we're here now this is where we are so around the front of the pallet, we've got loads more to walk around and have a look at yet, but uh, yeah, the rain is definitely easing, which is lovely. So if uh, you want your Amazon delivery, it's going to come very fast. That is unbelievable. Look at that look. Absolute race spec van. So guys, here we are. Um, we're making the most of the, uh, of the track the drifters are practicing, so uh, while they're out doing that, I'm going to pop along and grab both sets of cars up both the sides, that's the bottom end of the track. We've still got a bit of paddock to do to finish off all the cars for today and then we'll try and get any track action we can when we get a chance. So here we are, we've got a nice E30 here down the side. Now this 206 SW is awesome. The yellow and green on it as well. Check this out, look at the fitment on the back with the side exit exhaust down the side. <laughs> That is so sweet. Uh, as we continue on, Kirsten was uh, loving loving the uh, pre-face lift T-Sport. It's a five-door as well. It is as well. Yeah. 
uh, I think it might be an ST. It's got 200, 200 wheels on it. But if it is an ST200. Lovely little starlet, look. So on this left hand side, the one walking down is the individual selection, um, I think. So we're still going down at the moment, a couple of nice PMs. And we've got a nice few R baths there as well. So it looks like we've got some cars heading up towards track potentially. On the left hand side, you'll see the Subarus look. So there we go, we're getting Subarus and rolling shots at the same time. Gear sticker in orange. And then we've got a little selection of polos here as well. With one revving up. Finishing up at the end of this to walk back down the other side in just a minute. Up on that. Wow, 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 wow. It's nice that. I think we've got a V70R here as well, it looks like. It actually is as well. It's a V70R, Kirsten. Wow, beautiful. So we've got a GTD with some interesting wrap down the side. Um, and then this is the final selection I think, of the individual stands down the left hand side. So yeah, we've got a good bunch. This mini is glorious. It's got all the uh, extra aero kit on the side of it as well. Look. This BM is beautiful. So we've got to get this. What an absolute beast. I would imagine it's still rear-wheel drive, but uh, looks like he's got 35s, 37 size, off-roads on that. <laughs> that is crazy. The light bar as well. <laughs> that is mad. Very clean, RS4, stage here. And we've got a sweet Integra down here. Big brake kit on it as well. Lovely. So I think we've got an E29. I think it's an E29. It's in a nice sort of like grey green colour. Gorgeous. Civic is just obviously a Civic. You can't get past that. I think this is an S600 that is on bags. It's actually really cool. And then uh, between the GTI, uh, the uh, Audi and the X5, I think we've got a Lada, like a Lada Riva Estate. <laughs> I think it is as well. What a whip. It is as well. <laughs> I think this is a Mark 1 Jetta. It is <laughs> lovely in that blue. So I think this is uh, Dove Wales as far as I'm aware. So we're going to have a good selection of uh, yeah, VAG with the EP3 in the centre. <laughs> uh, you know, nowadays you can identify as a VW even if it is a Honda. So that is definitely. Fair enough, well we've got a BM in there, but we'll let it pass. But yeah, nice little selection of uh, Welsh German goodies. Yeah, it's just gangster, look at it. Look at that. So this is Pretzel Wagon, it's just amazing. I'm loving the pink, silver and black on that. that it's an awesome combo. So this 205 is just impeccable green. I think it's, I don't know what they call the kit on this, but it is... It's not a stock kit, but it looks good. I don't know if it's called the Musketeer kit, I can't really remember, but it looks excellent. So we've got the blue Evo here, with the white Supra dot on the back of the back. And next to that we've got a couple of nice Subarus as well. Like. Got to get it on video, he's got his finger up at me. Hello mate, I'll be back around in a minute. I'm just expecting your ass. It's rather fine mate. Uh, the Sylvia is gorgeous. Uh, I think that's the E36 M5 over there. E39, in fact, M5 over there. And this is just cool. Stancy boy 
Range Rover Evo. It's nice. C63 look. Then we've got Hoonigan Edition. Focus here as well. Look. Lupo Squad. Some white boys on that. Lupo Squad. Look at them all. Reminds me of when I had mine. And then we've got a Nardo, or not, not a Nardo grey actually, it was a very nice grey 36 cab. Another 36, probably a few 180 TDS maybe. And another MG. The person's going to go and cry over this sneaker now. It's looking lovely this. So I've got the Audi with Chameleon, very clean ST, until he has to drive it in a bit. And the Supra is gorgeous as well on these wheels. Look at that. So it is midday, the drifters have been out, although it's been dangerous for the drifters. So in terms of track time, I don't think there's going to be any, which is unheard of for Coombe. Now, just to show you how much of a mud bath it is here, you can see all of this mud all over the floor here. It is gooey. And I'm so glad I bought these Wellingtons because if I didn't, I would have never got any of these cars on film because my shoe would have been stuck in the mud. But I want to say this polo is just glorious in white. Fair play to them, they definitely tried to clean it as best they can when getting here. Um, but yeah, good luck to them on the way back. <laughs> so obviously white chaser, white wheels, black roof is a good combination. But look at this old, oh, this is an old Nova over here. Look at it, fucking sweet as. Ah, that's right, I can't see it. <laughs> ah, it's lovely, that. Another polo, we've got another Nova over here. Look at that, and that brown, that is a gorgeous colour. Wow. Proper built engine in that as well, I bet that is an absolute weapon. Apart from the mud on the wheels, the Megane is super clean. Subaru is a really nice colour as well, it's a Pro Drive too. Look at that. Oh no! Oh, poor Audi. We just got the motors for mine stand. What I love about these guys is everything they do and the money they raise is for charity, but also the owners of the vehicles tend to do a lot of bits on their cars that make them very, very different. Like this BMW here. Look at that. That's literally just paint splattered around the side of it, but it just works. Got the old uh, SMX there as well, right? In between them all. A few new BMs. It's nice to see an M3 competition uh, in the estate form. I don't think they ever made an M3, as far as I'm aware, in the uh, estate or touring form. So that's a rare beast. A gorgeous colour on that as well. We've got a sedan in the same colour as well. And then I think that's an, M, is that an M2. Yeah. Those wheels are lovely in the gold as well. Bronzy gold. I've low key, I've low key literally just almost lost my Wellington in that mud over there. It is mental. But uh, yeah, here we have this beautiful uh, 205. I think it's a GT. No, it's a GTI in fact as well. Sunroof. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's the sort of, I don't think it's shark grey, but this is the colour that brought shark grey into the Peugeot colour scheme. And it's a very gorgeous colour. Don't know if that is exactly shark grey, but it's definitely an early colour that brought on the shark grey uh, colouring to the Peugeot range. We've got a nice little Carrera, RS3, RS4, <laughs> RS Focus, every RS you can think of. But yeah, it's, it's, it's mad, the selection here is unbelievable. I'll show you my point of how wet it is now, ready, watch. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, so he's been out on track alert, and to get out he's done that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so bad. Honestly, look at the state of this. What the hell, man? Look at the state. It's freaking awful. The whole stands of the water here. Oh my gosh. 
So yeah, we've got a nice bit of old camo on this. It hasn't worked very well because I can see it. Oh my gosh. Look at this here. This is just unusable. Um, RIP the mini driver. That is unbelievably wet here. But there, Lexus is nice as well. <laughs> I have to leave Kirsten behind because she can't get on the mud because it's that bad. It's got all the TRD kit on that one as well. Though. Lovely. Uh, he, he's telling the car to go forwards, but the car's saying no. <laughs> Do you want to push? Have you tried reverse? Is it, is it going back? Kirsten? Oh, this. Hold that. I would stand there, I'd stand out of the way. So close. Still going, hold that. Go on, mate. People that do these for their kids and things, you are great parents. Gorgeous. That's the first Gen M5, I think. Nice Volvo over there as well. Look, it's an M, as we got an E39 M5 in a gorgeous green. We got a 850R, I think, or is that a 750D? I don't know which one that is. But... Yeah, got a good little selection. Oh, oh that's a good one. Glorious collection of cars there once again, guys. That's 378. Master's nice as well, look at that. Though. Yeah, so uh, we've got a nice little selection of very nicely wrapped, very nicely fitted with cars. This RS is every colour of the rainbow, and I absolutely love it. The RCZ again, it's the second one we've had today. It's nice with the purple. Purple and black, it's a good combination. So I'm loving the Escort van for a start. Glorious. So we're walking around the final stretch now, guys. It's a sad, a sad time, but I've got as many cars as I can, reasonably possible, <laughs> without making my video about five hours long. But yeah, look, we've had a good selection up here today. Um, and there has been a little bit of drift action, but not even enough for me to get up there with the camera and get anything because everyone's been running over to it. So it's been pretty, uh, been pretty empty and actionless today, unfortunately. So it's more like summer static or spring static, more like. So yeah, it's not bad at all. Lovely Subaru in purple. Got an R35 over there. And a GTR. Next to a Mustang as well. Such a crazy fast Yeah, this group looks very funky. The cars are very different, very unique. Accelerate on YouTube, I've never seen them, but I will definitely go and check them out. Got a good bunch. Very clean, Mark Fawler. In a lovely blue. ST wagon, can't beat an ST wagon. Nice little MX5. That is lovely, that might even be a genuine Alpina. It's got the front lip on there, so it probably is. And there we are. Glorious selection. It's been a great day, really. 
considering it's been dreadfully wet, we have managed to get plenty of cars on video at least, so we've done something right. Little track spec clear there as well. Look. Interesting colour selection on the course, a nice bit of little yellow in there. We do love our micro. Gorgeous, mate. And then, to finish off the end of this row, we have a good variety of old Jap and Germans. I'm loving the Honda Decal down the side of that, with the, uh, the sunrise on the roof. Looks awesome. Nice little set of BMWs. I think they're the same colour, or very similar. Got a little up. And GT86. Kirsten's going to try and go home in it, I would imagine. She absolutely loves them. Just want to say, that is gorgeous. So, JDM step wagon, lovely. And this is the final uh, selection for us. Hello, mate. All right. Red RS. I've never seen a red one. It's nice that. So we have got a, a lovely. I just, just want to mention, by the way, Kirsten's just getting her ass in the way all the time. Um, I want to mention clear lights. It looks great on this car. That's what I want to say. <laughs> Sadie's is nice as well, actually, to be fair. More of Kirsten's ass. <laughs> just because she's having to dodge all them. Look at her shoes. <laughs> yeah, so a multi coloured uh, Astra convertible, which is glorious. And I've never seen the Peugeot in that burgundy colour, but it's beautiful. So we've got the Asbo Focus. That is a nice wrap. I think it is a full wrap. Yeah, it looks like a full wrap. It's great. So, E30. E36. Can't get much better. A BMW combo. This can't be beaten. Now, we have actually got a Phaeton. Um, I have never seen one. That might even be a long one. I can't tell, but I've never seen one sort of close. But, uh, yeah. If you don't know what these are, they're basically a very rare executive uh, saloon car that VW made. It's sort of a big failure, but brand new, brand new, they're worth about 100k. The biggest boat ever, look at that camera, look. So I just want to say, uh, Citroen, I love it. Lovely colour setup on there, nice little track car. Now this is actually a Rolls-Royce uh on i don't even know what it's on bags i would imagine unbelievable if we're talking like vip ball to spec whip this is where it's at absolutely crazy and we've got ls400 with the very rare gold badge in as well it makes the ls400 which is a very big car in it makes the ls400 really freaking small that is awesome so guys, that is the end of uh, Spring Action 2023. I apologize, I've had to cut it short. I have got to pop off now. Um, and the track has literally just opened since I have left, but unfortunately we're going. So I'm afraid we've missed out the drifting um, and the track action. Not that you can always see a lot with my camera because it is too wide lensed. Uh, but that is it for me and that is it for